Hello and welcome to another episode of my Facts and Glitches series, where I continue to showcase some more of what I've learned about GTA 5 in my over 9500 hours of speed running the game and from my awesome viewers. Armor pickups around Los Santos give you 100% armor, despite looking like the super light armor that would normally only give you 20% when bought from ammunition. It is actually the super heavy armor that provides 100% protection, which the pickups look nothing like. In fairness, the pickups are not exactly the same as super light armor, they are just very very close. There seems to be a somewhat unfinished feature related to the prostitutes, which can be seen when you take one to one of your safe houses. Can we go somewhere a bit more... private? I'm never gonna get used to exercise. Fine, I don't... That was a fairly anticlimactic transition. Yeah, it was a tough day at the office, thanks for asking. There is of course no evidence inside of anything actually occurring. This occurs even when Franklin is not living here. The reason I say this is unfinished is because every other safe house does not have this effect. Not now. I gotta go find some real money. Sorry, man. Mmm, not now. Not in the mood. What the hell is wrong with you? Mm, not I'll now, beautiful. Sorry, honey, I don't have time for assholes. Mm, not now, beautiful. I got better things to do. The ladder placement at this location near the sewer makes no sense. You can trigger the derailed getting on the train cutscene as many times as you want before the train escapes. After you mission fail, falling off the train immediately fails you. Wow, getting changed, what have, what have you turned into? If you place a waypoint on the right hand side of the airport, it breaks and assumes that you can go over the water. The location of all fly unders, parachute jumps and stunt jumps can be seen on the in-game junk energy drink website. Normally when you hold down the character swap button, your game moves very slowly. But for every character, if you go to Trevor's trailer while holding it down, this effect is removed. This doesn't work at any other safe house. Once you let go of the character swap button, things will return to normal, both in terms of your game speed as well as the character swap button causing slowdown again. <gasps> Getting into a duster permanently shortens Franklin's haircuts and to a length that shouldn't be possible. This is the difference when you start with a long haircut, but it also shrinks short hair as well. Mm -hmm. 
Franklin's full Van Dyke beard cut breaks his pores profile picture, making him look quite goofy. Looking good. I love making people totes amaze. On the mission the time has come, also known as Ending B, Michael will repeatedly shoot back at Franklin. You can however stop him doing this by pointing your gun at him. This is what it takes for me to get out, dog. Come on, man. Let's do this, me and you. No use of running, man. Come out. We'll finish this. I know you understand this. I know it. There is an in-game site called Psychic Shoutout where each of the characters have one unique conversation that reveals some facts about themselves. For Franklin, hmm, something is brewing. Yes, a love, long lost love. Love? Yes, with a family member. What? You sick woman. No, not with you, with a friend, a close friend of yours. They're in bed. Oh, it's beautiful. What's this friend's name? P or L or J? Not L, please not L. Exactly, L, with someone you know, in your house. Not Lamar. Exactly, that's it, in your house, where you grew up, in your bed, all the time. Girl, fuck you. Seriously, fuck you. This to me at least suggests that Lamar was having sex with Aunt Denise. For Trevor? So, if you're a psychic, tell me what I'm holding in my hand. It is something special to you. Okay. But small, compact, well-worn, maybe frayed with overuse? That's one way of putting it. Think long and hard. Oh, this old gag, it's your penis, isn't it? This is how you speak with strangers, chatting with one hand? I bet your mother is so proud. What do you know about my mother? Is she coming through to you? No, I mean, it's a figure of, tell me what you know about my mother. Has she passed over? I'm not seeing anything. Your mother, I... You'll be communicating with the dead when I'm done with you. You'll be in close communification, you hear me? You hear me? Blah, 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 blah. Where are you? Leave my mother alone. This just tells us that Trevor doesn't know whether his mother's alive or dead. For Michael, what can I help you with today? I'm a fantastic relationship psychic. My relationship is just fine. I see a big house and a garden. The spirits are telling me to go into the bedroom. The spirits normally tell me to pass out on the sofa. The bedroom is very crowded. The decorator told me it was maximal minimalism. I see a yoga mat and a tennis racket. We're a sporty family. They don't belong to you. Question mark. There's a fireman's hat and a plumber's wrench. Give it a rest, okay? A lifeguard's float, a trucker's 60 ounce flask, a trash collector's pair of gloves. What are you saying? A gardener's trowel, a hipster's mustache. What the hell are you implying here? I'm not implying anything. The spirits on the other hand imply a loss. The spirits are telling me you're an asshole, all right? Now fuck off. You came to us, Michael. We're not going to tell you what you want to hear. I thought you'd tell me something I didn't already know you asked. Goodbye. We had an open relationship, by the way. She's her own woman, I'm happy for her, and I cheated too, unless you can't tell. This either refers to the many porno shoots that occurred at Michael's house as was referenced on the mission Daddy's Little Girl, or Amanda slept with a lot of people. Grand Theft Auto 5 speedrunners now complete missions instantly with help from a surprising source. Hey bud! We first start Cletus's side mission, but attempt to open director mode on the frames just before the mission begins. After being rejected and blowing ourselves up, the game gets confused. We are still on Cletus's mission, but all other missions are still available. Progressing with Cletus until the fifth checkpoint, we can transfer this checkpoint progress to another mission. We first must call Ursula or Liz to begin a one night stand, which maintains the checkpoint progress and allows us to move far away from Cletus without failing. We then go to the location of another mission and blow ourselves up before it fully begins. The game then respawns us on the fifth checkpoint of the new mission, which either skips us far ahead or skips the mission entirely. The best part is that the game doesn't consider Cletus' mission to be complete, so we can repeat this trick. Doing this doesn't save time for every mission, but speedrunners can visit Cletus 10 times in some categories. Hi, What's up? So that's the end of this episode. Thank you for watching. If you have anything that you think would be of interest to this series, feel free to add it to my Discord. I hope you're all doing well.